What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Doug Dagnabbit from Modern Warzone and ModernWarzone.com and in today's video we have some exciting news for you if you're a Modern Warfare fan or a Warzone fan. The last Modern Warfare weapon that everyone has been waiting for has finally been added. And yes, we are talking about the RAL LMG which was previously uh, seen in Warzone as ground loot, but you can now find it and unlock it yourself in Modern Warfare multiplayer. Now the thing is, is that to unlock it, you actually have to own Modern Warfare because you can't go into Plunder and do this because there is no RAL LMG for you to use to get these kills and Plunder. Now what you have to do to unlock it, you can go over here and you can look in the LMG category and you scroll all the way down and you'll see the RAL LMG right here. And to unlock it, all you have to do is get five kills in seven different matches while using LMGs equipped with a scout optic. So as you can see right here, I have a, a baseline loadout equipped for this. I haven't unlocked it myself yet. I've used it in Warzone just as full disclosure before when it was ground loot. And the thing hits hard. It's a very slow firing LMG. But the thing that makes it potentially really good, we have yet to see, is Exclusive Ace has already posted. It has the same damage output no matter what range it is. So it could be an extremely viable long range weapon. But you basically just want to get yourself a quick ADSing fast killing LMG. Hop in Modern Warfare multiplayer, and the right place to go right now is shoot the ship. Um, shipment is actually available, so you can get that done. Once you get your five kills, you can leave the match. It'll count your progress. This one is actually tracking properly. Now we're going to go and we're going to look at what we, what I believe will end up being the best meta loadout for the RAL LMG in Warzone. And I do believe that this is going to end up being meta. Now we can go into the custom game private matches, and we can actually see the LMG and look at every single attachment without having to have leveled it up. So we're going to do that now. We're going to go down to LMG right here. And as you can see, we have the RAL LMG, all right? Now it has its own specific silencer, which is basically just going to be a, a, the agency suppressor or monolithic suppressor. But you're definitely going to want to have this equipped, the RAL monocore. You always want to have a silencer on in Warzone. That way people aren't pinpointing you due to red dots popping up on the map. And that way you're not getting third partied all the time. We all know we hate for that to happen. Now, I was going to suggest a barrel, but I thought about it for a second. If you're going to run a barrel, I recommend running the 32-inch Rowl Line Breaker Barrel because it you're going to be using this weapon as a long-range weapon, not really a close range. So you want that extra recoil control, you want the extra bullet velocity, but and you also want the damage range. But Exclusive Ace has already posted on Twitter that damage range does not matter because this gun has the same damage profile at all ranges. And recoil control isn't going to be that big of a deal because it's a slow firing LMG. So we're going to move past that right now. If you want to set it up purely for long range, be my guest. Go ahead. Put on the 32 inch RAL line breaker, but we're not going to do that. Um, the under barrel, the thing that makes this unique is that the RAL actually functions similar to like um, the PKM. The PKM had a very specific uh, snatch grip that was available for it that not only helped you out with recoil control, but it also helped you out with um with being able to aim down sight faster and it treated it more like a um an, an ar than it was an lmg now the one downside to running this specific um attachment the ffs oblique is that you will have reduced movement speed but you should have a secondary anyways if you're trying to move around quickly this is specifically used as a long range weapon and you should be using it and trying to find combat situations that fit that mold for this weapon now we're going to move on to the ammunition. Um, this is where things get kind of hairy, and you can see that this has potential to be a metal weapon because it has almost exactly similar to the Bruin, has a smaller magazine size that not only increases your aim down sight speed, it increases your sprint to fire speed, your movement speed, and your reload quickness, all for only losing bullets in the magazine. So I'm going to run that personally in Warzone. I will be running the 50 round belt to increase the aim down sight speed and my sprint to fire time, as well as um, since Exclusive Ace posted that the range is not a factor, I don't really see myself needing that recoil control or extra bullet velocity that the barrel offers. Now on the laser side, you don't get a 5 milliwatt or any of that for this weapon, so you're pretty much stuck running the TAC laser, which if you didn't know, the TAC laser is single-handedly the best aim down sight attachment in on Modern Warfare weapons. It will increase your aim down sight time more than any of the other weapons could possibly do. Um, and then we're going to move on. This is really uh, up to you. You could run a stock, you could run the stippled grip tape if you want even more ADS speed and you like the iron sights, or you could run the FTAC Elevate for extra ADS speed. 
but uh, that's not what I'm going to recommend or the folding stock. I'm not recommending either of those. Um, I'm going to recommend that you run a site on this. And as always, it's going to be the VLK 3.0 optic. It is the quickest aim down sight optic in all of the modern warfare weapons. You see everyone in Warzone running it on pretty much every single one of their long range weapons. And it's for a reason. Not only does it come with a nice clean default picture but if you've unlocked reticles for it like i have as you can see you can run one that's even cleaner such as the t-pose and now you can actually get a look at what this weapon is going to function like so we've effectively increased the accuracy we have left the damage profile exactly the same and we've increased the range by a good bit even though i've mentioned it repeatedly now that's not going to be as big of a factor and we've also helped out with the control for this so that's your recoil control and all that now, another optional um, loadout that you may see people running, as I've already hinted on a bit, is the 50 round belt. Uh, take that off, and then you can put on the line breaker. And then you have a fully committed long-range LMG option. Um, you, would, you would take off your sniper if you're running a sniper, and you would use this with an SMG or another close-range weapon. And you would want to make sure you're not using two, two of the same type of ammo type weapon. So you want to use an SMG shotgun, something of that nature. But as for me... I, I do think that this right here is what you will be seeing people run in Warzone. I think that this, that depending on the actual time to kill numbers, it has a very slow rate of fire, so you're going to be penalized if you miss shots. It's not going to be as friendly as the Bruin was, you know. Faster rate of fire in Warzone means that you can, you're um, you're not as punished for missing shots. You have more of a chance to make up those misses in a quicker amount of time. And the RAL LMG, I believe uh, Exclusive was saying, is somewhere around like 560 rounds per minute something like that so i'm really excited that they added this to the game if you didn't know this was supposed to or we thought it would originally release alongside the psychov which was the the akimbo pistols that could have 130 rounds or 80 rounds or whatever it was it's been so long now i can't even remember um and this is definitively the last piece of modern warfare content we are going to get as far as weapons go um, as you can see, there's still a little bit of some texture bugs going on with this. And this was a completely unannounced addition. Um, the same thing happened with the Psykov. Raven Software, Infinity Ward, nobody said a word about it. It just kind of was added to the game. There was a big update last night that a bunch of PlayStation players had issues with copying. Some are saying it's 100 gigabytes plus, yada, yada. And pretty much the only thing we noticed originally was that it changed the lobby screen back here. And it made it to where uh, you could see the numbers potentially hitting it, hinting at the next Warzone event, which is supposed to revolve around the numbers um, with Mason and all that stuff. And we should be getting something involving the red doors along with that. You can see one of the mobile broadcast stations in the back as well. Um, other than that, the update didn't really do anything. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. I'm going to be trying to put out daily Warzone content moving forward. I know I've been slacking, but I'm back. I am recharged. Doug Dagnabbit is full. He is ready to go, and I'm ready to eat. Time to take over the YouTube scene. But until next time, Modern Warzone's going dark.